What's up everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can make money by playing NBA 2K24 on Gamersoul. If you don't know what Gamersoul is, it's a site where you can play video games for money. So there are many games to choose from, one of them is NBA 2K24 and 23 as well, if you still play 23 for some reason. And how it works is that you bet on yourself, your opponent does the same, so you, for example, bet five bucks, your opponent does the same, and you play a game, and whoever wins the game gets the money. It's as simple as that. So, yeah, a very simple concept, you play a game, if you win, you get the money. Nothing complicated. And yeah, that's essentially how it works. Now I'm gonna show you how to start playing on this site and everything else. So the first thing that you need to do is of course create an account. And to do that I recommend that you use my link that I'll leave you in the description box because you'll get a very nice bonus. It's a 50% instant deposit bonus meaning that you'll get half of the money that you deposit Add it to your account instantly. So if you deposit 20 bucks, you're gonna get another 10 added to your account instantly. So you'll be starting with $30, which is very nice. So it's basically free money. So if you want to get it, create your account using my link. So to create an account, click on my link if you want free money, of course. And you'll see this and then click sign up for free. And then the next step is to just fill out all the information needed. As you can see, this is worldwide, so you can be virtually anywhere in the world. Choose your country there. And yeah. You need to be 18 or older, as you can see. Confirm that here. And click Create Account. So now the next step is to deposit some money that you need in order to bet, of course. So to do that, go to cashier and choose the amount that you want to deposit. So as you can see, you have these options, but there is also this option that says other amount if you want to choose manually. As you can see, $10 is the minimum amount, so you can start for as low as 10 bucks. Choose the amount that you're comfortable with and then choose your payment method. As you can see there is PayPal, Crypto and Create or Debit Card. Choose your method and click Continue. When you do that, your money will be added here in the top right corner, as you can see. Now you need to find some games. The first way is to create your own challenge, an open challenge that anyone can join. So you have this button that says create challenge. If you click on that, you can choose your console here. As you can see, let's say PS5 and NBA 2K24. And choose the amount you want. So let's say five dollars. And then click send challenge. If you have any specific rules, you can put them here. And yeah, click send challenge and that will create an open challenge that anyone can join. I'm gonna explain more about that in a minute, but yeah, that's how to create your open challenge. So let's see. As you can see, we have posted challenge successfully. By the way, this is the chat that you could use to communicate with other people, with other players, to set up your games, to chat and stuff like that. So yeah, straight away someone has accepted my challenge, as you can see here. I usually, not usually, but I don't play 2K at all, so I play FIFA on this site, 
So yeah, this is just to show you how it works. So Don Rico has accepted my challenge. He is, as you can see, an amazing player. And yeah, let's let me show you how you can find games in different ways. And then I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like when the challenge is confirmed. So another way is to, yeah, you have all these people chatting in the chat, so you can click on anyone's profile and you, and you can challenge them directly here. So challenge, choose the game, choose the console and the amount and click send challenge and that will send the challenge directly to them. So that's another way. And also you can click here, find the match. And yeah, as you can see, you can <clears throat> choose your console here, your game, and then you can choose the rank here. So let's say low rank, that's determined by the record, of course. So yeah, you can see these people here that, that have posted their challenges, and now you can click on any challenge and accept it. Let's see. So yeah, as you can see, click on challenge, click accept challenge and that's it. So that's how you accept someone's challenge. And now let's actually, oh, he got away. So let's post another challenge. And when someone accepts it, I'm going to show you what you need to do. So as you can see, I created another challenge. And now let's see if someone is going to accept it. Yeah, the same guy has accepted my challenge and now I'm going to show you what to do next. So, as you can see, when someone accepts your challenge, you'll get notified and you have this button that says confirm or cancel challenge. If you don't want to play, you don't have to do anything. Just ignore it or, yeah, when you click cancel challenge, the whole challenge will be cancelled. But yeah, just don't confirm it if you don't want to play. If you do want to play, click confirm. As you can see, challenge confirmed, you have 75 minutes to play your game and report the result. So now click view details to open the challenge. And as you can see, match expires in one hour and 15 minutes. So you have that amount of time to actually play the game. And yeah, you have a private chat here that you can use to talk with your opponent. And the next thing that you need to do is add your opponent on your console. So when you click on someone's profile, usually there will be this, there will be their username. They, their username that they use on their console. So PSN username or PlayStation. So find them on your console, add them and yeah when they accept you, you just need to play the game. So invite them to a game or they can invite you, then play a game. So normally like you would do against your friend, online friendless. And when you finish the game, come back to the site and click report result. So this is crucial. When you click report result, you have these options. So I won, I lost, and you can leave feedback, which is not important. You don't have to do that. So if you want your game, click I won, and then click report. You can also, if you didn't start your game for some reason, you can cancel your game. So click request match cancel. I'm gonna do that because I'll not be playing this because I don't even play NBA. As you can see, someone else has accepted my challenge. But yeah, so yeah, you just come here, you click I won and that's about it. And many people ask me if it's that simple to report the result, what stops 
people from reporting themselves as the winner? And it's a good question, but not many people do that actually on the site. And even if they do, you have nothing to worry about if you have proof of your win. And by proof, I mean a picture or a video. So just take a picture of your of the result and or even better, record your games. And if you have proof, then you have nothing to worry about because you can just dispute the result, send your proof to support and they'll resolve the problem. They will award you the win if you won the game and that's about it. So yeah, I have a video where I show you the process of doing this. So if you're interested in that, watch that video. But yeah, if you have proof, you have nothing to worry about. So now let's cancel because as I said, this is just for demonstration purposes to show you how it works. So let's see if he's gonna confirm the cancellation. If he doesn't, then we'll have to wait for the time to run out and the challenge will be automatically cancelled. So as you can see, you can use the chat to communicate. So as you can see, he got mad, it seems. But he accepted the cancellation and as you can see, match cancelled. So now I'll get my money back, let's refresh. So as you can see, I got my money and match was cancelled. Now let me show you how to actually withdraw your money. So to do that, go to cashier again and go to withdraw. And yeah, as you can see, you can withdraw in Bitcoin. I've never done that. So yeah, I usually use PayPal, but as you can see, for some reason, PayPal withdrawals are temporarily unavailable. So they'll bring this back in hopefully a week or so i don't know it usually takes them about a week so yeah usually paypal is available and that's what i always use so i have a video where i explain how to withdraw with paypal where i, where I show you proof of my withdrawals actually so watched if you're interested in that but yeah basically usually there will be the option for paypal and then just choose that put your email address your paypal email address and click continue it costs three dollars to withdraw there are no limits so there is no like the minimum amount that you can withdraw but it costs three bucks so yeah so that's how it works essentially but now let me give you some tips so that you can avoid losing money on here so yeah, the first tip that I have for you is to always analyze your opponents. So when you click on someone, you'll see their overall rating here, their wins, their loses. And yeah, also uh, you can see the date that they made their account. So member since this date. And this is also very important, a pro tip. So you can see this that says record reset so yeah this means that this guy reset his record on this date so yeah before this date his record was different we don't know in which way but yeah usually people reset their records to if they are too good so that they can easily find opponents so yeah that's about it so always look at these things they are rating there if they have this that says record reset and also you can look you can take a look at recent feedback and see their last games so you can see their recent opponents when you click on someone, you can see how good they are. So that's about it. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to use my link if you want to make an account. It will only help you. And it's a great bonus. So yeah, I hope to see you in the next one.